What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome and today I'm going to show you guys my 3D printed magazine holster. Let's get right to it. So I've had a lot of interest on this uh, 3D printed mag holster. I went ahead and posted on Instagram before I did the video uh, and really before I 100% refined the design. There were a ton of people that were interested in it. So uh, I went ahead and posted it on Thingiverse so that you guys could download it and start modifying it. I went ahead and uploaded the step files for it and there's been some great traffic on it. So I wanted to go ahead and, and get the video done so that you guys could uh, take a closer look at it. So. I went ahead and, and put Engineering Awesome uh, tactical developments on it. Uh, I do want to stress that this is not for duty carry or anything like that. I would never use something 3D printed like this when my life or somebody else's life depended on it. But this is going to be fun for the range uh, just for doing some little competitions mostly with friends. So um, this is basically a, uh, an adjustable uh, mag pouch or mag holster. Uh, it's it's more of a mag holster. Uh, I did print it a little tall. That is one of the big complaints people have had. It's kind of hard to grab it. Uh, really, when I did the modeling, I used a Glock 17 mag. Uh, but you can adjust the tension. I used elastic bungee cord. Now, that's something not a lot of people have laying around. So I will put a link down below. And uh, it's also got some of these keepers. Uh, and I'll, I'll link that as well as the filament that I used. So. Uh, some of the things that I really like about this are really just that it works real well. Uh, I was amazed at how well it held the mag in, and this really is not that tight. There's, there's a ton left in there uh, to tighten it up if you needed it more. Uh, they slide in and out well while still retaining it. Now, one of the things that I am going to change is I'm going to chamfer the edges here on the top. Um, it is with this Glock mag, this is no EM Glock mag, it is a little bit hard to, to put in there because there is a lip right there. So that does catch and it won't go in perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and chamfer both sides. That way you can put it in either way. doesn't matter. Uh, another thing I'm going to change is that I'm probably going to lop off about the top half of this. Uh, and then I'll make this um, belt loop a little bit smaller. Now, I think that with this design and really about any 3D printed magazine holster, um, the weak point on something like this is going to be where the belt goes. So right now it's 3D printed. I have thought about using some kind of loop system that you attach to the 3D printed plate. Uh, so that may be something that uh, I work on in the future if I want to do a version two of this. But I'd really like to hear you guys' feedback on this. Let me know if you're going to use it. Uh, go ahead and leave me a, a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.